operate uh, solely on donations, grants, fundraisers, um, and various gifts from, uh, from the community. Uh, just like in the art world, there's many different facets to the art world. Um, I find that there's uh, quite a few facets to operate at an art center and operate it well. Well, my biggest focus, um, you know, one is bringing art to the community. Uh, you can't do that without funding. So the biggest focus is making sure that we have our, our, uh, our annual funding uh, available to us. And again, that's through grants or, or uh, gifts through the community uh, or our art shows, art sales. Um, or um, you know various fundraisers that we do throughout the year. But I think the biggest imp importance is you know we're celebrating 75 years. I want to see this place um, thrive for another 75, if not more. As the marketing coordinator, I'm responsible for maintaining the website and creating marketing material for our shows that we have every month and events and designing the flyers and PDFs and graphic images and videos as well. If you use a style that's very outdated, that looks kind of homemade, that sort of thing, it's going to get that kind of attention. But if you make it a little bit more dynamic, if you add a little bit of, I would say, professionalism to it, there's just, there are certain ways, there's fonts, you know, if you, if it's, get, if it's too busy, and you have a million different fonts and filters going into the design. It's kind of like putting too much food on a child's plate. They won't touch any of it. So uh, we can have up to 14 board members. Currently we have nine. Terms are uh, two year uh, terms and uh, are able to be reelected. We go through elections no differently than uh, any other board. Uh, the, uh, the process is, is that you turn in a board application, um, your reasonings why you would like to be on the board, um, and you are brought in for an interview. We meet once a month. It's the second Tuesday of, of every month. Um, we create an agenda and we send that agenda out um, the day before, uh, day before our meetings. And so that's anything that is relevant that has happened within the last month that needs to be discussed. Um, we go over our financials. We use QuickBooks uh, for all of our accounting. As we have learned, revenue is an important aspect of sustainability for any business, especially a nonprofit. In this section, we learn about how Fremont Center for the Arts has purchased Canyon Framing and how that will affect its revenue stream. Long story short, I heard that uh, Becca uh, C was selling uh, her buildings and asked what she was doing with the business, and she said she wanted to sell it all together. And I went home and, and uh, was chatting with my, uh, my partner about it. And he said, you know, you guys should think about buying it. And I was like, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Um, and so put together a business plan and uh, the pros and cons and uh, presented it to our board. And uh, thankfully they, uh, they thought it was a great idea as well. Projected income is right around 97,000 per year. Um, she's been hitting uh, that that particular location has been hitting that uh, that number consistently. Um, so again, that was one of the reasons why we said, "Hey, this is a, this is a great opportunity." We already have within the first three days. Um, I believe there's ten pieces that are already you know in, in the works. Um, so yes, uh, it's a very profitable business. Uh, our hope is uh, you know once we. Uh, generate enough revenue to one pay back our initial investment um, and then you know be able to uh, decide to add a either part-time person or someone who's a, a contractor or whatnot so we're still trying to figure that out of how we want to structure it um, but eventually I know that we will need someone to, to step in and, and be that. A grant is telling your story and if people like the way you tell your story and it's compelling evidence for a particular project or something that aligns with uh, a grantor's mission and they give you money to do your work. So that's basically what a grant is. A lot of the foundations in the state of Colorado use the common grant application. So it's basically a template that has documents that you fill out that are somewhat universal on their design. Some places actually have you fill out 
a statement of work that has another template that you identify the tasks you're going to complete, who's going to do them, when they're going to do them, what part of the budget is going to cover that work. So there, there are a lot of different formats depending on the funder. Some grant applications are one page that you fill out online and you submit it. So the funder will tell you if you go to their website or you contact a program officer, they'll tell you who they fund and what they fund. So it may be particular organizations that have a specific mission. Uh, it may be based on their tax status. It may be based on the community that they're in. So rural communities have different uh, grant options than maybe metro communities do. So an online application can take you 15 minutes and you click submit and you're done. Um, some can take uh, weeks to put together, depending on how many documents you have to submit with the grant that you have to collect, how readily those are available, 